Neville Crowe was an outstanding ruckman for Richmond over 10 years and 160 games until his career came to an abrupt halt in the second semi-final of 1967. Crowe had been Brownlow favourite in 1961 and finished fourth in the count five years later. He followed in the tradition of great ruckmen at Punt Road, men like Jack Dyer, Bill Morris and Roy Wright. And in 1967, looked set to add a premiership to his already fine record. In a sensational incident, however, in the second semi-final, Crow was reported and subsequently suspended for striking Carlton's John Nichols. Crow still denies having made contact with the burly Nichols, but his pleas of innocence were ignored by the tribunal, remembering these were the days before televised evidence was permissible. Montgomery's kick into what the centre of the ground actually goes over the centre. Oh, and okay. flying high, Neville Crow. It's only about 20 yards out from Richmond's goal. All bounce now. Goes. Neville Crow's got a hand passes, but unfortunately passed to Melbourne. Hand, hand falls over to Roger Dean. Roger Dean swings around. He's lined it up. And he's put it through the centre. Well, that's all you can say about the conditions. And here's these players battling on once more. Lovely knockdown by Crow. Over towards Bartlett, but Richardson grabs it. A funny old kick by him. Up it goes. Paddy comes out and this time he grabs it. I don't know. I think he relishes these conditions now, Paddy. Kicks it up to where Barry Cameron had a chance. Couldn't make the ball. Comes onto the ground. It's eventually picked up by Neville Crow. Hand pass to Northey. Northey is danger man. He swings it round. There's no worry about this one. It's right through the middle. But Neville Crow is in the way for Richmond and has taken a safe mark. Only three minutes gone in the third quarter. It's been raining for the last 15 minutes. It's been raining very hard. Crow's kick coming up to Roger Dean, which was, I thought, just a mark. I thought it may have touched the ground, but Umpire Shields has paid the mark. Oh, Tell you what, boy. this is great football. Great football. There's the kick from Barrett. It's a long one. It's going to the edge of the goal square. Crow from behind. And Crow comes in nicely down to Richardson. Kenzie. And Burt's kick goes up towards centre half forward. It's taken here by Crow. Crow runs into a bit of trouble. His kick is a high one. It over the centre, up towards centre half forward. And Clay comes in and pulls down a towering mark. Cards out now. There's his kick. Favours the drop kick. It's going to the edge of the goal square. Drops it, bounces. Here's a chance for Crow. Crow gets it to Northey. Northey snaps. But I think that the uh, scoreboard tells the story. 9 17. He hasn't only oh, been, been the only one. Look at a beautiful kick there, and there's a chance for Crow to mark it to play on. He gets a little left footer out here. Get away a bit. He's gone onto his left foot. He must have thought he can kick better with his left foot. It's right in the goal he square, and Patterson. Now it's Crow. Here's Neville Crow. He's on a very acute angle. Goes for the drop punt. Put it right through the middle. That's his second. Uh, pace telling on that half forward flank. As he's kicked down towards the forward pocket, they set themselves. Hug goes a mile from behind, leaves the door open for Crow into an open goal. By Des Fitzgerald. In it comes, up goes Crow. He's in the first ruck. That's strange. So no Richmond more. could lose this game if they keep this up. The throw in on a half forward flank for Richmond on the in the stand side. Or Stewart has robbed the possession. Burt uh, playing like a man possessed. He's in everything. And look at this. There's a play on the 15 yards. Oh! 